Welcome to WildNote. I'm Chris Webster, and we're going to learn about conditional logic, which WildNote calls hide and show rules. So as always, when we're dealing with survey form layout, I usually have the survey form layout over here, and I have the actual form that I'm modifying over here. So I split my screen with two different windows. That way I can make changes over here, and then hit the refresh button over here to see those changes in real time. Always remember to duplicate your forms before you start messing with them like this and modifying them, especially if they're being used in the field. You don't want an active use field form changing without letting the field crows know that it's gonna change. So if we look at this form over here, you can see that I've got a couple sections, one with birds and one with trees, and I've got a question here, what are you recording, birds or trees? It'd be real handy if these things only showed up when one of those were selected. That really cleans up your mobile side, cleans up the website, and allows it so people only see what they need to see when they need to see it and gives them that freedom and, and really reduces the clutter on what could be a small screen. So I'm gonna show you a few ways to do this. The first way is I'm gonna look over here on the survey form side and I've got all these questions here. So let's say I just want these questions to show up when the birds are selected. So I'm gonna come down here. When you look at a question, you can see this add condition down here. now. Let's break this down real quick. Match on any qu condition or, and match on all question conditions and. So when or is selected, it means I can have a number of conditions down here and if any one of those is true, then the question will be displayed. And if I choose and, all the things I have down here have to be true for the question to be displayed. You'll see that in a moment. So let's quickly add this one in though. So we. Look under the question type here, and you're creating an if-then statement, basically. And the question is, what are you recording? So if, what are you recording? And then you can choose different options here based on what you chose over there, is equal to birds, then I'll click Save. That means it will unhide this question. Right now you can see that it's checked as hidden. But if this is true, it will unhide it. So let me click Save there. And if I want to quickly see what I did here, I can go Refresh, and now that I see that's true for that first question. And I can do that for each of these others. I'll just add it to this one so you can see. What are you recording is equal to birds. Click save, save, come over here and refresh. Now you can see there's two more questions gone. And now I see those. Okay, so another way to do this would be to add it to the section. And let me delete these conditional logics here. That's just as easy as that. So now I have no conditional logic. Let's go back and verify that on this side. There you can see all my questions are there. I can check, doesn't matter. All right, so as I mentioned, there's an easier way to do this. So let's click on the bird section and you can do this with repeaters as well. Check out our other videos to find out how to make repeaters. Now I see them in the section and if I add this condition, what are you recording is equal to birds save save let's go ahead and do that to trees as well make sure that says or although it doesn't matter if you only have one question in there what are you recording is equal to birds oops see don't make that mistake it's equal to trees save and then there now we'll come back over here and hit refresh now I can see that when I choose birds I see birds, when I choose trees, I see trees. Notice I have multi-select checkboxes here. If I used radio buttons, I'd only be able to choose one or the other, which might be something you wanna do. You can also use a drop-down list, it doesn't really matter. Now let's say you want some of these questions inside here to show up at different times, not just with the birds section. First, let's show you the kind of easy way to do this. So I've got a question here that says, is this a bird? If I look over here, you can say the three choices are no, what's a bird, and yes. So if you don't know what a bird is, or you or it's not a bird, then you really don't need the kind of bird that it is. So I don't know why you'd answer the question anyway, but that's not the point. So let's go down here. This is the question, what kind of bird is this that we want to hide or show, depending on the answer. And I can come down and say add condition, and is this a bird? So if this a bird is equal to yes, then it shows. Save that. Let's try it out. So birds. Is this a bird? No. Okay, I don't have to choose a type. What's a bird? Still don't have to choose a type. 
and it's yes. So now I can choose a type, okay? That's multi-level conditional logic. Now, there's one other way to do this. Let me get rid of the conditional logic on the section, okay? So now if I come back here and I refresh, now birds is always there. So I can say, I only want the what kind of bird is this question to show up when birds are selected and when no or what's a bird is right there. So I can do that all within one question if I wanted to. So now I have here or, I'm gonna switch this to and and add another condition. So uh, is this a bird? Yes, but I also wanna make sure somebody is actually recording birds. We'll click save there. All right. So notice that says and. When I click save over here, I come over here and refresh. Now, if I choose no, that question doesn't show up, even if I have yes selected down here. That's because I didn't choose the what are you recording selection, birds. And if I go back here, so it requires that to be selected and this to be selected. Any other combination simply will not work. So I hope you can see exactly how powerful conditional logic can be with these forms. Once you start really playing with this, and you can add any number of conditions on this screen here in the question screen, you can just add a bunch of stuff right there and really get difficult and complicated with it. But that would make it easier for your field crews to make decision trees and different things that you want to make uh, to really homogenize your data and make sure it's being collected in the most efficient way. Okay, so when you're done, make sure you test the PDF and pivot table exports or your custom export if you have one. Uh, WildNote will create that for you based on all the things you have here um, if you choose so. And just make sure the data looks the way you want it. Check the video library for other in-depth videos and for information on anything related to using WildNote. Thank you.